Hello, and thank you for joining us here in Brooklyn, New York. Not far from where I'm proud to say my family is from and where I got our very start here in America. I'm of course used to having a crowd and a few more cameras and certainly a lot more energy in front of me for these big moments, but I assure you, there's still an awful lot of electricity in the air. Now I know there's a tendency in this business to overstate everything. The importance of one vehicle to one brand at any one moment. But this is truly a defining moment for Volkswagen. We're here to welcome our first long range electric vehicle, the ID4. An EV that will accelerate an evolution in how people view electric mobility and a revolution, frankly, in how they view Volkswagen. At our best, Volkswagen has been about being at the right place at the right time with the right vehicle. That of course began with the beloved Beetle. It was affordable, lovable, efficient. It met the moment, mobilized the masses, and pointed the way forward. What we believe the ID4 is right for the world we find ourselves living in today. Back then, we famously asked the world to think small. In a way, we're asking you to think small again in 2020. Because the fact is, here in America, consumers already are. The largest and fastest growing segment in the US market alone is compact SUVs. With more than 4 million sold in 2019, a commanding 24% of all new vehicle sales. So why is that? At an average of $33,000, they're the right price point for American families. Here's the thing though, 75% of households actually consist of two people or less. So small makes sense. But we found our ultimate inspiration in one particular stat. Our research shows over 30% of these SUV owners say they are ready to get behind the wheel of an electric vehicle. So there's nothing small about this opportunity. Consumers still want big ideas. They're waiting for the next big thing, one that meets all of their needs. So that's why we went big with the ID4. From the first design to every last Volkswagen dealership, we are out to win the hearts of consumers. Not just EV consumers though, I'm talking about each and every consumer at the heart of the American automotive market. Of course, stats only tell half the story. Sometimes it's best to go right to the source. So let's do some fact checking with someone who even during a global pandemic is always on the move. US Women's National Team Soccer Star, Alex Morgan. Hi, Scott. Hey, Alex. Much to the chagrin of a few of my colleagues over in Germany, you and the team just keep winning World Cup. So uh, tell us, how's training going? It's going great. And we're training hard and improving every day. I'm even more motivated right now having to be creative with my training in the last six months before team sports slowly started to come back. Look, I'm sure it's just a coincidence, but I see that Atlas Crossport conveniently parked behind you. Uh, how do you like it? Oh, this? That's where I usually park, I swear. No, I love it. It's like it was designed for me. It's super nice on the inside, tons of tech, and it's a blast to drive. I do like to drive. <laughs> There's so much room to spread out for me and my teammates, and maybe even my dogs too. I mean, SUVs are made for soccer life. And besides soccer, yes, there's life besides soccer. There's the other stuff I use it for. You know, getting outside and discovering remote places. I've even got mine outfitted with roof racks for my sup. Of course, we're here to talk about going electric. So with all that said, are you uh, really ready, Alex? Well, I'm a mom now. And though I've always tried to make environmentally conscious choices, now I'm looking at my daughter, Charlie's future. I already live pretty green, you know, the way I eat and what I buy. So going electric is a no brainer. It's an easy choice. Plus that ID4, whoa, I've gotten some sneak peeks and it is sweet. Cool, final question. I hear you've already claimed your ID4. So I have to ask, what color did you go with? You know, Scott, I actually told them to surprise me. I mean, as long as it's red, white or blue, <laughs> duh. Perfect answer. Thanks, Alex. All the best to you and your new adventures with the Spurs in England and that, of course, that growing tribe of yours. The debate is over, the wait is over. Let's meet the all new, all electric Volkswagen ID4.
Look, to me, it's quite simple. ID4 is a vehicle with the purpose and personality of the original Beetle. It drives like a GTI, the heart and soul of the Volkswagen brand, and it's packaged like a Tiguan. Simply put, next to a comparable gas-powered car, it's a spaceship. The ID4 will out-hustle, out-muscle, and outmaneuver anything in its class. It's aerodynamics with a low drag coefficient of just 0.28 aren't just for show either. Every line helps make it quieter than its rivals, whether you're on the highway or out on the town. Something that takes a minute to get used to, but once you do, there's no going back. All this elegance conceals an astonishing amount of power though. The ID4 has a towing capacity of up to 2,700 pounds, where the competitors can haul 2,000 at best. For more of an expert opinion, let's bounce out to Tanner Faust, racer, car madman, Hollywood stunt driver, and of course, Volkswagen brand ambassador. Tanner, you've driven a lot of cars. What feels different though about the ID4? Is this thing the real deal or not? Without a doubt, this is the real deal. I mean, from the driver's seat, it seems like it bends the laws of physics. Uh, I really think that this is going to rewrite what an SUV is all about, and it has a lot to do with the low center of gravity. Someone from your generation might say it turns on a dime. <laughs> Appreciate that. Now, uh, don't nerd out on us too much, but you've become familiar with how Volkswagen did that, so tell us, what do you know? Well, Scott, it starts from the bottom up. The battery is located all the way down here and is one of the heaviest components of the car. It's in an aluminum matrix box that is bolted to the body shell. Now, that not only helps chassis rigidity, which is critical for a lot of things, including steering feel and handling, it gives it that low center of gravity that I'm talking about. And in my expert opinion, that makes it badass. Well said, my man. At launch, we'll offer an 82 kilowatt hour battery and a 201 horsepower AC motor cranking out 228 pound feet of torque. And that motor is mounted right here in the rear and it drives the rear wheels just like the original Beetle. Of course, that is something very near and dear to my heart, but that also may be why it feels playful like a classic Volkswagen. But remember, there is nothing old school about the technology in this car. The torque is instantaneous. It literally catapults you off the line, which makes it a blast to drive. A blast, but also shockingly competitive. We put it through its paces internally, and I think the results frankly speak for themselves. It's not a stretch to call it best in class. You've seen the results. Tell us how we did, Tanner. Scott, I was really impressed, even a little bit surprised considering its size on how we stacked up against the CRV, the Forester, the RAV4, and even the CX-5. From a standing start and at passing speeds, all the way through a standing quarter mile, even when you look at a recent car and driver comparison, it crushes them all. The performance of the ID4 is gonna be compared to sports cars more than SUVs. And for a guy like me, that is mind blowing. Thanks, Tanner. Always appreciated. Hopefully we can see each other soon enough. In the spring of 2021, we'll also offer an all-wheel drive version of the ID4 with a combined 302 horsepower from its two electric motors, which will take that best-in-class performance even further. With onboard 125 kilowatt DC charging, the ID4 can charge from 5 to 80% in just 38 minutes. Out on the road, it will deliver an estimated 250 miles of range and you can leave range anxiety behind thanks to three years of free fast charging. Now, housing the battery underneath the cabin has another key advantage, more space inside. Given its compact look, the ID4 has a surprisingly airy feel inside that's a break from current car interiors. From a tech standpoint, that phrase best in class is just as appropriate. There's a 10 or 12 inch center display and a 5.3 inch digital dash display operated by voice or gesture control wireless app connect, onboard Wi-Fi, and wireless phone charging all built in. But the ID4's tech isn't just cool, it helps keep drivers safe. Our IQ drive suite includes intelligent travel and emergency assist, plus front, side, lane, and light assist, as well as park distance control. And an available advanced front lighting system with lights that swivel through twists and turns of the road. Here's one more feature, an industry first, that absolutely blew me away. Our ID light system is a color-coded strip of light underneath the windshield that glows in response to different driver situations. If the navigation system wants you to turn left, for example, the correct color will glow on the left side of the dash. Extremely, extremely cool. So that's what you get, but we've even rethought how you get it. For the first time, you can configure and reserve a Volkswagen online. It's a simplified and 
customer-focused experience. Configuration to reservation in six clicks. Reservation is simple, $100. When it comes to buying your ID4, we'll make it just as easy. 650 motivated and engaged Volkswagen dealers are ready and waiting. Now, what exactly do we mean when we say the ID4 is for the millions, not just the millionaires? It's pretty simple. The ID4 is priced at $39,995 before the federal tax credit is applied. But that doesn't account for state rebates. Whether you live here in New York or in California, these rebates will bring the cost down to nearly $30,000. Across the Hudson, in New Jersey, you could end up under $30,000. The lease price for 10,000 miles a year comes to a very competitive $399 per month. Plus, no fuel cost will lower the cost of ownership more than $2,500 over five years. The first ID4s will be called, originally enough, the ID4 First Edition. They will cost $36,495 after the federal tax credit. These first editions will feature cool accents like these pause and play pedals and a host of standard equipment, including a panoramic roof, 12 inch touchscreen and 20 inch alloys. And finally, when we localize production at our plant in Chattanooga, Tennessee in 2022, we will introduce a version of the ID4 that actually cost around $35,000. Speaking of, I test drove the ID4 down in Chattanooga where the entire town is buzzing is the $800 million expansion of our plant to start building the EV is rocking and rolling. I took it up and down Signal Mountain. Car enthusiasts know it's a stunning drive, but I was reminded about its history and couldn't help think it was kind of poetic. For centuries, from Native American smoke signals to Civil War dispatches, the mountain was the best place to send a message. As I said in the beginning, we want to accelerate an evolution in how people view electric mobility that's why the ID4 is coming to market well under $40,000. It's our signal from America to the world that the times aren't just a changing, they've changed. Of course, if you wanna spend six figures on EV, go ahead. But now, when you see this thing passing you on the street, you gotta ask yourself, why? We didn't set out to go tit for tat with other EVs out there. The ID4 was engineered, loaded, and priced to win the hearts of SUV owners who are simply ready to go electric and fall in love with Volkswagen again. The real value of the ID4 isn't something you can just measure in dollars though. Unlike any other EV on sale in America, the ID4 will be truly CO2 neutral from start to finish. To us, doing well for ourselves and doing right by the planet are not mutually exclusive. That's why Volkswagen has committed globally to carbon neutrality by 2050 in line with the Paris Climate Accord. We don't just see a business opportunity here, we see a responsibility. Ultimately, we believe the ID4 will accelerate EV adoption because it will be the most competitive compact SUV in the market. That also happens to be the most sustainable. Five years ago, Volkswagen was thrust onto the global stage to offer an apology. Today, we are here to fulfill a promise. The ID4 is the opening salvo in our commitment to finally bring e-mobility to the millions, not just the millionaires. It's crazy affordable, it's crazy lovable, and it's of course, crazy efficient. Once again, ready to meet the moment, mobilize the masses, and point the way forward. So I can't overstate this. This is the most important launch for Volkswagen since the Beetle. Yeah, we're still thinking small, but not too small to drive bigger. For our customers, for our company, and for everything we have in common. Thank you again for joining me and joining Volkswagen today.